Good morning. I am New York Attorney Gregory Tyrone, and I represent Nuriana Radwan of Wappingers Falls, New York, a former student athlete, soccer player at the University of Connecticut. Today, she is filing a lawsuit against her alma mater and personally against the former athletic director, her head coach, and the director of student financial aid, all of whom stole her voice two years ago with the illegal cancellation of her scholarship in the middle of the year. The time has come to restore Noriana's voice, and now she will take this occasion to finally be able to speak to the public directly. Thanks, Greg, uh, for all your patience and persistence over the last two years working to restore my voice today through the federal judicial system. So finally today, I can speak publicly to apologize to the University of Connecticut student body and administration for my emotional moment of misjudgment and any negative effects from it. Two years ago, I had profusely apologized in writing to the athletic director and my coaches and face to face with my fellow teammates who were very supportive, but none of the administrators or nor coaches ever responded or acknowledged my correspondence. To my parents, family, friends, and all the citizens of Connecticut and viewers of ESPNU and watch ESPN that saw the incident, please understand that I did not intend to offend anyone. I was making a celebratory statement that was seriously misinterpreted and misjudged. I loved UConn, but I lost faith in it as an institution when it allowed my scholarship to be illegally taken away so abruptly and crassly in the middle of the school year, violating all the trust I had. Santiris and Yukon are governed by NCAA bylaws and the highest law of our land, the United States Constitution. My client is going to hold them accountable for their misconduct. The merits of Nuriana's case will speak for themselves. We plan to go to trial. So in an excited moment, as an 18-year-old, after winning the first championship in her life, her one little mistake cost her everything. That's a warning to all stu student athletes. What can happen? My client didn't seek anything but the opportunity to play soccer and study at the University of Connecticut for four years. She had no absolutely, uh, not the slightest expectation that she would do anything but be there for four years. So all of you can understand what it must be like when you all of a sudden lose everything because of one small incident that most people would find not even worthy of this lawsuit or this press conference. But we're here because she's a female student athlete who's treated differently than male student athletes at UConn by the institution. And one misguided individual, Coach Santiris, led the way for a couple of others to complicitly violate her civil rights. And we hope that her example, and she hopes that her example, will lead other student athletes to undertake the same kind of fight against an institution that treats them wrongly. So thank you again. Appreciate all your time today.